Hey, what's going on everyone and uh, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Plex Media Server in your home network so you can stream your favorite movies and videos to any device inside your home. So let's get started. But first, remember to subscribe, give it a like, leave a comment so you can be notified of future videos. The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to open the browser and head over to plex.tv media server downloads plex media server in this page i want to uh, select my uh, version of plex media server so i'm going to click here i'm installing linux so i'm going to select linux and then i'm going to choose my distribution so i'm going to click and uh, i'm going to select uh, ubuntu debian uh, intel amd 64 bit so i'm going to click on that one I'm going to click save file and I'm going to click OK, but I have already downloaded. So I'm going to keep that step. Next, I'm going to open the terminal. Because it's a Debian file, I'm going to use a Debian package manager. So I'm going to sudo dpkg minus i to install Plex Media Server and I'm going to press enter. The installation is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to wait until finish. All right, so once the installation is done, you want to start the service. So I'll do sudo systemctl start plex media server that service. Next, you want to view the status of the service. And as you can see, it's running. All right, so I'm going to quit out of that. And next, I'm going to open the browser. And I'm going to open a second tab. And I'm going to navigate to localhost column 32400, which is the port that Plex server used for uh, streaming. All right, so the first time that you navigate to this page, you will be prompted with a, a wizard a setup that you need to complete so in the first section i'm going to click got it and then in the second screen you have the options to um to add your media libraries these are the uh the the, the files movies and music that you have available all right in the second section um, you have the option to uh, subscribe for any of the services that Plex offer. So I'm going to close out of here. And uh, I'm going to make sure I select allow, allow me to access my media outside my home. And I'm going to click next. Make sure that this is the correct uh, name for your Plex media server. I'm going to click next. And the third section, I'm going to add a library. So these are your uh, folders or directory where you have your movies, music, pictures. And so I'm going to click Add Library. I'm going to click Movie. I'm going to leave the name as Movie, and then I'm going to click Next. I'm going to browse to where I have already uh, created my uh, media directories. But if you haven't done so, go ahead to the uh, to the console and do make their and name your directory. So if you want to, let's say in my case, I do, in my case, I have movies, music. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to give it the directory. So that'll be home, Jess Smith. Movies. And I'm going to click Add and Add Library. So that's the Movies Library. I'm going to add another one. This will be for TV shows. Next. And I'm going to say Home. Yes, Smith Series. Click Add. Add Library. And I'm going to click Next. Here you can click on this link and download any um, and download the Plex Media Player for your smart TV, mobile device, or tablet. 
So I'm going to click done. So as you can see, the Plex Media Server connects to the Plex uh, service online and downloads a bunch of movies that you can play on your on your devices. Also notice that um, my libraries show up here in the main menu at the bottom. So if I click on movies, for example, okay, so it's this one here. So it's not it's not the first one. I don't know. Probably that was from a previous installation. So I'm going to click on the second one. And it says that uh, this server is on claim. So I'm going to click on, don't show this again. So if I click on movies now, so as you can see, uh, the videos inside my movies directory are not showing. And uh, we can fix that because that happens quite often in, uh, based on my experience. Uh, that happens when you add uh, new new movies to your libraries and they don't show uh, automatically. So it doesn't reflect, doesn't update automatically. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and click on settings. And let's go all the way down to libraries. And you can uh, click on this uh, icon here and then scan libraries file. Another thing that you might wanna do, uh, is to go inside network and scroll all the way to the bottom here where it says list of IP addresses and network that are allowed without authentication. And you might want to enter the IP and the range of IP address for your network here because sometimes if you don't have internet connection, that will prevent your media player devices from playing uh, movies and, and, and music that are hosted in your local Plex Media server. So I'm going to enter 192.168.137.1 and then forward slash something mask. All right, so I'm going to click save change. And the other thing that I wanna do here is to go to DLNA and I'm going to enable the DLNA server and save changes. All right, so another thing that you might wanna do is to click on libraries here on the settings and enable scan my libraries automatically and run a partial scan when changes are detected. This is a good idea to keep your libraries up to date and scan my libraries periodically. So go ahead and click Save Changes.